All right. 17 days to go until I fly from Arizona to Illinois. I'm doing my best to document how I'm trying to overcome my flight anxiety, <clears throat> which I suspect is a fairly common issue. Um, been kind of an interesting journey here. What I'm doing right now and what I feel fairly compelled to do, and this is to help with the flight anxiety, but also just to help with general health and probably overall anxiety as well, is I'm going to spend this week trying to reduce my caffeine intake uh, and kind of greatly reduce it especially in the morning leading up until the flight. The day of the flight, I don't plan on having a coffee in the morning. and um, So I'm going to kind of start training the body for that this week. You know, obviously, there will be some slight headaches or withdrawal symptoms from the caffeine, but I you know, plan to kind of slowly do it, not cold turkey <laughs> like some advise, but uh, not plan to do that. So just kind of will slowly back off of it. So looking forward to uh, to that, and then um, <laughs> this is kind of a funny, not funny news story, but just ironic with uh, me flying soon, so don't read a whole lot of news. And sure enough, um, it was yesterday, today's uh, February 20th-ish, uh, maybe 21st or 22nd, but there's a flight leaving Denver and the freaking uh, engine falls off. <laughs> So um, I see the headline and I'm, you know, I'm trying to reduce my news intake as much as possible. And I see the headline and I say, oh, don't, don't click on that. You don't want to read that. Don't do it. And I, I clicked on it. <laughs> and so I start reading. I'm like, don't read the details. Read the whole article. Um, probably read five articles, you know, just felt like I was torturing myself, you know, and I wasn't actually that anxious reading the article. And, you know, it was actually kind of interesting having a you know, somewhat scientific background. They were talking about how, you know, it take off, that's basically maximum thrust. And so any, you know, weak links or issues are going to be at take off. And it looked like this one was 20 to 30 minutes in the engine, something happened and basically exploded and not coming at all. But interesting to read, you know, a couple weeks before I fly. And so also interesting to read about the takeoff part. And, um, you know, again, it's a you know, kind of a scientific machine and scientific principles. So kind of interesting to, to see that as well. But so a couple of things I'm doing, obviously trying to reduce the news. <laughs> I did do a good job of that <laughs> recently. Uh, <laughs> um, still doing the cold showers. Um, decided to do, when I do them, I do cold first and then end with hot. Uh, that's helping my muscles quite a bit, I've noticed. Um, Reducing the caffeine, that's going to be a big one. I, I mean, that's a known kind of upper, makes you anxious, makes you jittery. So reducing that, um, you know, just trying to kind of be more generally mellow. Um, cutting the news always helps. So doing that, you know, I happened to get off social media. Not that I was a, a super active user, but it um, still just, I just feel it, you know, just overall just feel the anxiousness from it. So. Getting off that, uh, you know, trying to get more sun here in Arizona, which is easy to do, but does have a, a good effect. I think the vitamin D has a good effect, you know, trying to improve the diet just a bit, um, which is always challenging, but doing that as well. So more to come, but this week I think we'll be uh, focused primarily on caffeine. No, there's about 17 days to go, so two, two and a half weeks to start reducing the caffeine prior to the flight. Adios.